What's going on, Infinite Fam? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, leave a positive comment down below for a chance to get a wow. For a chance to get a shout out in the next video. That is right. So shout out to my boy JB. He's out here saying, "All right, watch, watch what you do. Watch what you do. Don't, don't, don't get fired on your day off." Bro. I knew you were don't, gonna say something. Don't get fired on your day off. All right. All right. First of all, he's saying welcome home. So after that, I think he's gonna have to get kicked out. <gasps> no. Yeah, I'm not having it. Guys, I'm not having it. Isaiah turned this around. I did. To the wall. How I did. rude is that? Bro, it's not rude. It's like he doesn't even live here. He don't even pay rent. <laughs> hey, Ooh. stop! Yeah, I just kicked him. Yeah. yeah don't what you wanna do? That. do about I what got you wanna this do about when it? I was 12 years old. Grow up! No! So as you guys can tell by the title and thumbnail of the video, we are finally going to be doing a house tour of the long-awaited not the dream home, but the temporary dream home because we really, really love this house. Yeah, it's definitely going to be hard leaving this house when we do purchase our home, but we're just going to enjoy it for the time being and we are so excited to finally give you guys the tour. I honestly want to see our dream home. The dream home is like in the works in a way, but right now I feel like the dream home has to top this and it's going to be hard to top this. It yeah, I agree. I agree. It's, it's gonna be a little hard to top this. But anyway, yeah, the dream home is in the works. That's some type in the future, you know. But um, are you ready to give the house tour? I'm super ready. Okay, so do you want to give them the first floor or the second floor? We'll divide it up floors. I'll do the first floor. Okay, so ooh, you give me the second floor. Okay, mm -hmm. that's my favorite part of the house. Okay. All right, so let's do the first floor. So as you can see, this is our front door. Time out, bro. I just realized how tall that front door is. I never realized that. Yo, you're mad short next to it. I'm short in general. Bro, but nah, like our old apartment, it ended like right there. And now it's like, all right, that's a really big door. I just realized that. Wow. <laughs> all right. So before I get into this, I want to let you guys know that we are still unpacking. So everything is looking a little messy. Just bear with us for the time being. We will be giving you a fully furnished house tour, but obviously that's not right now because we've only been here for like three days. Um, so yeah, you'll get the picture though. So first and foremost, this is the den. All right, so as soon as you walk in, you're going to see this. Now, I have no idea what to do in this room. I'm completely stumped. I have a few things that I want to do, but I'm not sure what's the best way to go about it. Um, I don't want a dining table or anything like that, so let me know in the comment section below what I should do here. This is low-key the size of our old living room. Yeah, isn't that crazy? This is just a this is just like a den area, guys. It's like I don't I don't even know. Like she said, we don't know what to do to it. But. It's freaking crazy. So come on, this is my favorite part. Ooh, here we go. This is our kitchen. Guys, it's so bright in here. I feel like the camera makes it look a little yellow. So we're gonna fix that eventually, but everything in here is so bright, so much daylight, it's crazy. And the space, go ahead babe, talk about the space. I know it's, how you like a spacious kitchen. Yeah, so for a very long time, I've wanted a kitchen with an island, a very spacious kitchen that I can just cook and be free and bake here and start seasoning meat here. Like, I'm just so happy about what we have. And we have an electric stove, which is amazing because gas just kind of sucks. <laughs> Um, and I have all of this here, all of this space, this drawer space. And what I'm super excited about is what's behind Isaiah right now. Oh my God, it's the little things that matter, right? You know my hungry ass, I want a damn pantry. Guys, we got a whole pantry in here, guys. Like, I'm not gonna lie, the snacks be hitting though. Snacks behind Janice did a huge order the other day, and yeah. I, so, I felt so bad for the delivery driver. But I we gave him a nice a tip. Huge compra because I needed to get all of this stuff. I have guests coming over now, so I need to entertain them. So I got like cookies and stuff like that that we usually don't eat because we're trying to be healthy. But um, yeah, it's actually. Don't mind that. We need uh, bins. They're actually coming today in the mail. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is bothering me so much. Yeah, but like very I said, much. Bear with us. So another thing that we got is a Keurig. That's really for my grandfather. This is for Isaiah's <laughs> grandfather because neither of us drink coffee and if we do, it's from Starbucks. So yeah, and then our beautiful, oh my gosh. Guys, guys. an ice maker, <laughs> ice maker. I love crushed ice. I actually eat ice and I know it's kind of bad for you, but crushed ice with Publix raspberry iced tea, it's different, oh my gosh. But yeah, I don't think you guys care about seeing inside of our fridge. So Can I just say that. that, shout out to you for all the organizational stuff that you did. Like you have so many bins in the cabinets and stuff. I'm not gonna show them because 
I feel like that's just weird. Um, but yeah, shout out to you for all the organizational stuff and like all the stainless steel stuff, the utensils, everything you bought, it came out so well. L guys, literally I thought of all of this. I thought of all of the chairs, all of the decor, every little thing was me. Like I literally, I don't know. I just kind of like always knew what I wanted and we didn't have it in our last apartment, but now we definitely have everything that we ever wanted. Yeah, so. now we went all out. Shout out to you. Babe, before we show them that part, I just want to show them this. I am so like, think about this. Go ahead, turn that on for me, please. You're so think about it? I'm yeah, yeah, it's the, it's the third one, the third one. There we go, look at that. Guys, it's so cool. It's like water droplets. I don't know if you guys can pick it up on the camera, but it's so cool. It looks like a lava lamp. Yeah, and I, I could sit here and talk about this for hours, but go ahead. See here, this is where like the dining table is supposed to be, another one, you know what I mean? So I don't think it makes sense to put a dining table over there. If we can get like a little small one. I'm still trying to convince Isaiah to let me do that, but do, I don't think he wants to. Mm, mm, I don't know. Um, let, all right, moving on. Let's talk right. about Blooper's teepee. Oh yeah, I got Nene a teepee so that he can lay in there and like clearly he put all his toys here so he can chill, right baby? Yeah, look at him, he's chilling. He's like, don't touch my teepee, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, moving on to my second favorite part, actually this is kind of my third because the living room will be my second, but you'll see that in a second. So this is our lanai and if you know me, you know that I wanted a lanai since I was a kid. So this is really exciting. This is actually very spacious too. So I have my two little chairs here. They're actually not little, they're pretty big. Yeah, they're big. You can actually sleep on that. <laughs> yeah, and then I also have a plant corner here. I'm gonna eventually get more plants. I have this, it's like a kind of like an ottoman with a storage inside. And I also have um, a little side table that I haven't put together yet. But it's is that like this a one? cooler. Yeah, it's in there. So it's a table and a cooler, guys. That's like so cool. Yeah, and then I also have a little fire pit. It's like this small that I'm going to put here. And it keeps the bugs away. But guys, look at our view. Yeah, the view is just beautiful, guys. Wait till you see the view in the bedroom upstairs. But every morning we come down here and we get to look at this water and all this like bright daylight coming in through the windows. Oh my God, blessings, man. And you guys should see it when the sun is setting. Like oh my that. God, it's freaking beautiful guys it's so bright right now so i don't know if it'll focus but the sun sets like right there and the sky gets like blue and pink and it's so beautiful yeah it's very rewarding come on baby here is our living room guys this was the size of like our old house i kid you not like this whole area was the size of our old apartment and just to think that this is only like 25 percent of the house though it's crazy like this is freaking insane it blows my mind so as you can see this is a box this is supposed to be our tv stand um, we still haven't gotten the chance to put it up because we're buying a TV. Yep, I'm buying a big, like, 75, 85 inch. I'm gonna put it right there on the wall, surround sound. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> and then here, I have these little swivel chairs. I didn't want, like, the basic kind of, like, couch and couch, like an L shape like we had before. It wasn't something that I was in love with. This, I am in love with. Like, our swivel chairs and then... I don't know how to pronounce it, but the material is like vocal, bo vocal, I don't know. Man, but it's fuzzy. It's fuzzy, exactly. So I have this. We're waiting to put this up uh, later. We have to get some yeah, stuff for it. It's got to go up there in the middle. Um, I also put this together and I'm obsessed with this. I feel like this is just like so aesthetically pleasing. Um, it's very minimalistic, which is the goal that I wanted to go for for a long time. Um, and then I also got the let's tell them this. Let's tell them the sad story about this one. <sighs> All right, so let's just sit and chat, guys. So, long story short, they lost two pieces of our couch. Yep. So this and is supposed to be. We're missing a half, basically. Yeah. This is like it has to go all the way to the end of that. Um, so that's a little frustrating because this is definitely something that I wanted to come in first, and I made it a priority. This was supposed to be delivered a month ago, and it got delivered yesterday, and they got delivered with missing pieces. So that's going to be a struggle. I don't know how long it's going to take us to get another piece, but it's really comfortable. Though. Great for us. It's yeah. really comfortable, and this piece you can actually detach. It's actually an ottoman, so it's supposed to go like in the middle. Mm -hmm. But you can attach it to whatever block you want. So, you know, the other half that's missing, you can attach it to that too. Yeah, but it's really cool, cool and soft. On our other couch, we really didn't have nothing like to travel. So it was just basically everything in one corner. But let's move on. This is a mess. Yeah, this is a mess. <laughs> Behind that door is like magic wonderland. We're just- Magic wonderland. That's all okay. I'm saying. 
So guys, right here, I'm planning on putting a shoe rack and like some decor um, so that when people walk in, this doesn't happen because I am a neat freak and yeah, this same. drives me crazy. Right. Um, and then we have our storage closet here, which is a mess. Yeah, these are a bunch of boxes we still have to unpack. Yeah, we have to sort through that stuff, see what goes where. Um, then we also have extra space here for whatever. Um, maybe we'll put like... I don't know. What should we put in here? Vacuums and stuff? Put probably. You in there. That's what I'm doing. Put you in there. Boy, bye. And this is our first bathroom. Oh, that's bathroom. right. This is the first one they see. This is the first bathroom. Um, so I got this. So I'm going to decorate it. I'm going to put toiletries, stuff for, um, you know, feminine products, things like that for our guests. And extra storage. This has shelves and things like that. So whatever people need, I will be putting in there. And do you want me to show them the garage? Yes. All right. Guys, you, disclaimer, they might see my, <laughs> I almost hit you with the camera. They might see my grandfather cutting up some boxes behind there. But yeah, let's see. <laughs> Ahoy. Mm -hmm. Ahoy. Hello. <laughs> so this is the garage, guys. Like I said, this is Wonderland over here. We got the nice cars sitting over here. Grandfather's cutting up some boxes, helping us out. Thank you for that, Pa. And, um, yeah, this is uh, this is probably where I'll be most of the time. All right, guys. So now it is my turn. We are going to be showing the second floor of the house. Come on, follow me. Follow I'm looking jealous. Follow I should have shown follow the me. second guys, floor. Guys, yo, the other day I slid down this railing and it was so fun. Yeah, and this railing is insanely freaking big. And I'm this is scared. a really big staircase. Yeah, this it's is, like bam, bam. These are 16 <laughs> steps. We counted it. My grandfather caught a cramp on the way up. Oh my gosh. So, um, I guess we'll start off. We'll start off over here. I was going to say, don't start off with the no, best no. part. We're going to give them the laundry room first. All right, nothing crazy. Pretty spacious. We have our washer and dryer coming in in, I believe, two more days. They're going to come and install it for us. Looks really cool. It's like a stainless steel uh, black glass kind of thing. It's super nice. But yeah, nothing crazy there. First guest room, here we go. This is where a lot of the people that will come over will stay. Pretty spacious. Um, Janice and I have plans for the guest room as far as like personal stuff we want to do. She wants to do like a. No, 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 was looking a little dungeon in here. You're not gonna show them the closet? I was getting to it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Double door closet. It's pretty narrow, but it is long. That's what she said. Um, <laughs> but yeah, guests have plenty of room to store their bags, hang up their clothes, all that good stuff. Blooper, get out the closet. Come on. Maybe in the future, when we do Come merch, on. it'll go in there. Come on, Blue. Come on. All right, you're staying in the closet. Come oh on. my gosh, she doesn't want to get out. So that was guest room number one. I'll show them our room now, because that, that's a nice little thing over there I want to show you. Okay. So again, disclaimer, uh, we're still unpacking. A lot of this mess is mine. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, so this is the master bedroom. Here we go. Oh, so beautiful, guys. Look at this. We have a king size bed. Shout out to Janice for getting the headboard and the bed frame and the mattress and all that. Super comfortable. I love sleeping now. Before, I never wanted to sleep just because, I don't know, I feel like I always wanted to get stuff done, but now I want to be lazy because of how comfortable this stuff is. <laughs> but if you look outside there, go ahead and show them the view that we wake up to every single morning. <sighs> oh, it's freaking beautiful, guys. Look, look at that. that. You see the water, the sunshine in the morning. It's honestly the best thing ever. Today so is actually gorgeous. the first day that it's really cloudy, so it doesn't look as freaking beautiful, but when the water is like with the sun on it, the sun's it's like reflecting, it's beautiful. gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful is what it is. So we have this shelf here. We just put this up yesterday. We're gonna put the TV that's over here hanging on the wall. I got the PlayStation ready to, you know, go up and all that too. Your boy needs the game. Hadn't played in a couple of months or weeks, I should say. <laughs> um, and now onto the master bedroom that's connected to our master master bathroom that's connected to our master bedroom. <laughs> here we go. So oh, here we have it. The nice big shower, guys. You can probably fit like four people in there if you wanted to. All right. <laughs> I'm just saying that's how big the shower is. And we have the double sinks. Been waiting for this for a long time because Janice is always hogging the sink. Oh, shut always up. Always hogging the mirror. But now we have our own personal sides. Mm -hmm. and my side. Oh. Don't be breaking my stuff. It's trying to fight. 
This is Janice's favorite part. This is her throne. Mm -hmm. So here we have your own private toilet. Toilet. Here we have beautiful. Have the lights. Go ahead. Close it. Do your business. Don't have to worry about anybody smelling it because you can close it. <laughs> and then we have the gigantic walk-in closet. Guys, this right here, again, it's messy. We know. But Janice was trying to take this whole closet to herself. I was because what the hell I had my own walk-in closet in the last house. Okay, Janice, but this is like... This is way too big for you by yourself. No, right? it's not. I need, my, I need my space. I too. promise you, I can fill it up. Like Okay, I'm telling you, all I need is this right here. This, this row to the wall. That's all I need. And you're over here trying to take the whole thing. I'm giving you three quarters well, of it. Well, for that, you can have your own small closet. No, yes. man, I want to walk in closet too. I want to be like you. I want to I come up too. We can't all be this great. No, bro, no. <laughs> so yeah, big walk-in closet. It's going to be big when we get all this crap out the way. Yeah, all of this I have plans for. It's going to yeah. be compartmentalized and stuff it's like gonna that. It's going to look crazy in here, guys. It's going to look like a like a kind of like a little store kind of thing. <laughs> but um, yeah, enough of the closet. So we have another closet in here. Uh, pretty big as well, guys. This is where a lot of the bathroom stuff goes. Um, it's kind of messy right now, again, like everything else. Blue, get out the closet. Why are you always in the closet? <laughs> oh my god. So that was great. Leaving the master bedroom, we are now going into one of my favorite spots. A spot that I have a lot of plans for. This is like another living room, guys. Look how big <laughs> this area is. This is like another living room, guys. <laughs> this is crazy. But yeah, I, this is the loft upstairs. I want to put like a pool table up here that can convert to like a ping pong table to like an air hockey table, kind of like a three in one arcade kind of thing. Can I have my toe back? <laughs> can I have my toe back? So yeah, there's a lot of plans for this. Bunch of lights in here too. No need to turn them on. We have a lot of daylight coming in. Can I have my toe? Jeez. So yeah, a lot of plans for this. Any ideas on what you might want to do here? Well, you were talking about you want to make this your man cave, so I was just like, wow, that's rude. I don't know because my man cave, I would kind of want it to be private. I don't know. I agree. Personally, I mean, yeah, personally, I want this to be kind of like a lounge area so it can be like kind of like a theater room. That's another thing. I was telling my grandfather that. What if we get like a nice, comfy couch? Yeah. A really big screen TV, surround sound, and it'll be like a theater kind of thing. I personally feel like we should just put like a projector. That too, I was thinking about that too. And we have a projector. I was talking about your dad about that yesterday. A fancy one that like comes up from the floor kind mm -hmm. of thing. Super cool. But um, yeah, moving on to, I believe this is another guest room. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is another guest room. All the rooms you get yeah. lost in. So <laughs> here we have another one. Um, I feel like this one is a little bigger than the other guest room. But yeah, um, again, pretty dang spacious. And this one might be Janice's personal room, maybe. I don't know, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to scrap for that. But another closet, again, bloopers in it. I don't know why, but a lot of space, really gloomy, bright, and yeah, the guests are gonna have, can you get out of the closet? Blue, come on, out of the closet. I don't know who raised me. <laughs> Moving on to the guest bathroom, which is also cool because not a lot of guest bathrooms have double sinks as mm -hmm. well. So the guests, if we have a couple over here, they can have their own sides. It's really convenient and just really awesome. I wish, I don't know, I would want this if I'm going over to someone's house. Same. It's really cozy and really comfortable, convenient. Um, shower, nothing too crazy, regular shower. But yeah, this is one of the guest bathrooms. All right, guys, and before we go into the last guest bedroom, which is where my grandfather's at, there is a closet right here. <laughs> um, not sure what we're gonna put in here. I feel like now we have so much closet space, and before in our old apartment, we never had that. So mm -hmm. it's gonna be, can you get out of the closet? What is your problem? <laughs> oh my God. And uh, also, it is a smart home. So we can control uh, the you know heating and air conditioning and all that cool stuff. We can see the weather. Um, we get alerts and stuff like that. We don't have any Wi-Fi right now, so it's not working. But um, we can also lock, unlock the garage, all the doors of the house with our phones. It's really cool. There's no keys at all. But yeah, on to the last guest bedroom where my grandfather is. This one, I would say, is mo the most unique as far as guest bedrooms because the guest bedroom has a walk-in closet just like ours. Mm -hmm. So not as big as ours, but still pretty big. You know, for a guest bedroom, a lot of guest bedrooms, they just have regular closets, like how you saw. But yeah, I like this one. I feel like this one is going to be the designated 
guest bedroom because a lot of guests when they come over they always like tripping over their bags and stuff like that they can literally throw everything in here hang up their clothes and all that and still have a lot of room to be comfortable and whatnot yeah and i put hangers in there so they'd be completely comfortable also made this got the bed frame this little nightstand which we're missing a nightstand because yeah. i forgot to deliver one but we're not going to talk about that <laughs> blue why are you going to the bed now <laughs> come on blue all right, Infinite Fam, so that is our official house tour. I cannot wait to show you guys our fully furnished house tour when that time comes. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. Comment down below what's your favorite part of our house. And now it is time for today's post notification shout out. Today's post notification shout out goes out to... Gem Rose. Shout out to you, girl. Thank you so much for the love and support. If you guys want a post notification shout out, all you guys gotta do is... Like, comment, share, subscribe. Turn on those post notification bells so you're notified whenever we post a new video. And with all that being said, we love you. We could not have this house without you. And we can't be more grateful to you guys, to God. And with all that being said, we will catch you in the next video.